Hi guys, this is Wilfred from uh, Fruit Seedling. Uh, how we deal uh, with the fruit uh, seedlings, uh, that is we raise our seedlings, we propagate, we graft different variety of uh, fruit seedlings, talk of the dragon fruit, talk of the pixies, talk of the tree tomato, talk of the bananas, mangoes, uh, lemons, all the oranges, all where we do uh, fruit uh, seedlings at our farm. So you can visit us, you can uh, Give us a call. We are located along Nairobi Embu Highway near Kwasamaki. So I welcome you all. I visit our farm to get to learn more. So, uh -huh, like I said, we do a variety of uh, seedlings. That is fruit seedlings. But today, allow me to talk about uh, grape, uh, grape, uh, grape farming, or a uh, grape seedling uh, uh, in uh, particular. So, uh, grape uh, is uh, basically a, uh, is basically a berry. Uh, typically, we have red, we have black. And we have uh, the purple, we have black, red, green, uh, green uh, uh, grapes. So these all, they are in stock. They are out of farm. We raise uh, these uh, different uh, types. So you can visit us. Uh, so I'll start with the, the conditions, the climatic conditions are uh, required and even the soil conditions requirement for this uh, particular plant or uh, the fruit. So this uh, the grape will require to uh, temperatures uh, of above uh, 10 degrees Celsius, and the soil conditions uh, it will require well-drained and loam sandy soils uh, with uh, incorporated uh, manure for them that are maybe they are having loam but not sandy. They need not to worry because uh, with the improved uh, technology in agriculture we can uh, we always we can always improve. Uh, the structure of the of the land we can always improve the fertility we can always increase and improve how fertile the soil uh, so that we can suit uh, the particular plant you want to grow so we are so it's a plant that we require uh, 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 well-drained soil uh, it also requires a rainfall of around 600 that is to 900 uh, milliliters per year so it's a crop that can be grown uh, uh, in most uh, parts. I think, uh, let me just highlight on uh, the different parts that uh, these crops do well. Uh, when you visit Naivasha, visit Meru and Kibwezi and nowadays Mombasa also region is also doing well, they are performing. So it's a, a variety of crop uh, that actually is uh, doing well. So for us at our farm we do the grape, we do the red grape, we do the black and then we do the uh, the green, the green grape. We also have the purple, but uh, for us we do the three varieties. So allow me to shed more light on the the very the one that uh, most people like. Uh, that is the black, but more uh, nutritious. Yes, apart from being more nutritious, all of them they are nutritious. But now with health-wise, uh, people will go for the black, uh, the black uh, grape. And so that is it. Uh, so allow me to talk about uh, just briefly about the diseases that affect this uh, grape. So grape, just like uh, any other plant uh, future, just any like any other plant's future, is susceptible to pests and diseases. So a grape uh, is not uh, excluded. So it's affected also by uh, powder mildew. It's uh, affected by a pest uh, known as the milder, the mealybug and uh, also is affected by the moth, the, that is the grape moth. So all these, uh, for the powder mildew in grapes, uh, I'll recommend, or uh, for us we recommend you do the copper uh, ox chloride. And also for the, we have the aphids that also affect the grape, that is the fruit grape. So that one we, use, we always uh, uh, recommend, or we, uh, I'm going to recommend what you do uh, because uh, for me I don't go chemical but I am trying to come up with a, a, a better way that is more uh, environmental friendly and even to the human uh, health wise friendly to the humans so for the for the aphids I always recommend and what I always do is uh, I always spray that is a solution of water a solution of water and uh, the soap dish uh, you can spray your crops uh, that is uh, the grapes so this one will help you to get rid of them it will also prevent them and uh, we can also let me talk about uh, seedless eh? with the seedless grapes uh -huh, which uh, in a way we propagate the cuttings 
uh, which uh, mature faster in a span of uh, eight months. The, it will be uh, I've started uh, that is fruiting and it can produce uh, like a cluster of uh, to around 30. One uh, fruit, uh, the first fruiting uh, grapevine can produce to a cluster of 30. That is uh, to around 20. Cluster may contain like 20, 20 to that is 20 grapes. So you can imagine, you can approximate how many. That is a cluster of uh, 30. Then uh, one cluster carrying uh, uh, carrying uh, to around 20 f grapefruits. So you can do the math, and you will see this is a nice uh, a plant. You uh, this is a plant that can be eaten raw. You can uh, it's edible. So it also has its own uses. So a grapevine, uh, or it can be used to make wine, as uh, it sounds. And it can also be used to make jam, it used to make uh, vinegar and also the grape uh, seed oil. It's also among the uses that are used to make uh, this. Uh, uh, they are some of the uses and uh, benefits we accrue from the, from the grape. So uh, I'll talk also about the spacing uh, for them that uh, want to do it doesn't need a lot of space. Uh, for them that just want to do an orchard, it's a plant that can be grown in a container or rather a pot so it doesn't need a lot of space uh, you can grow it in a container uh, just you mix um, uh, manure in a ratio of two to one uh, with the topsoil uh, that is soil that is uh, at hand uh, to your place so no need to worry you can do it three you can plant two to three that is in a container or a pot whichever that is at your disposal and uh, i think uh, it doesn't need uh, much space but for them that we want to do commercial or want to do in uh, an orchard that uh, uh, bit space uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a crop that uh, for the for the hole you can do 12 inch that is 12 by 12 inch and uh, that is one from one crop to another that is three meters you do three meters so you can fill uh, that hole that you that is 12 inch hole you can fill it with uh, you can fill it uh, that is to a maximum of four four inch so you leave uh, you leave uh, like eight inch for the crop now so you mix a uh, top manure and uh, you mix the top soil i mean uh, with the manure you mix it with the uh, you mix it in the ratio of two to one like i said or we just to avoid the burning or the scorching effect uh, of the manure it also burns when it's in excess it will burn the crop the it happens to burn the crop uh, the roots that is the roots so after you mix it uh, then uh, you will plant immediately after planting the crop you have covered it ensure that uh, you water the plant to allow that uh, you cool the plant or uh, you cool the soil so <clears throat> that is it for the cutting also we have uh, the uh, uh, seedlings, uh, the seeds, uh, grapes can also be grown as seeds, but you see they don't, they will not produce uh, the much, uh, they will not produce as the mother plant because uh, you know with the seeds they will not test, even the test will be totally different. So that's why we always uh, recommend and we urge for the cuttings that are mature, they are strong, they are able to resist even the pests, and they are able to resist, uh, they are drought uh, resistant with the uh, just enough for uh, even with a little water it will uh, do it will do well so i think that is the best uh, i can offer for you when it comes to in that uh, sector so this is how the grape uh, look like for them that uh, haven't uh, met such a plant it's a nice plant actually very beautiful so this is how it looks uh, it's already sprouted uh, like uh, how many leaves are uh, so many leaves uh, it's already for transplanting so you can visit us uh, you can uh, pay us a visit actually you can have your own you can grow in an orchard you can grow in a pot so it's a crop that doesn't need a lot of space you can do it in a pot you can do it in a, just a container and uh, i think uh, when it starts fruiting uh, you will appreciate uh, you will uh, come back uh, you can even uh, uh, bring them back so this is a cutting also this is what we do we uh, always recommend for cuttings uh, they have uh, they mature faster they are you can see that it is very strong you can see it so it uh, is a plant that will mature very faster and we we recommend uh, there are times uh, they are not just uh, propagated any other time so uh, there are time that uh, we recommend for the cuttings for them to be uh, for them to be ready so during cold season is when we do the cuttings that we know that one allows the crop uh, to sprout well but when you do it uh, over the drought season it takes a longer time to sprout and uh, mostly by that time it's affected by uh, uh, the powder mildew because there is no rain 
you know the no rain to water the plant so when dust uh, when it is so dusty that is when actually it also attracts so much uh, diseases and even fungus so we are uh, that's why we recommend we we do the cutting at a time when it is cold a time when it's rainy it allows the crop to be watered so the, the leaves to be to be clean and uh, that's all yeah but uh, I, I hope you've learned so this is the what we call the grape so this what I have, uh, what I have here, this is the red grape. You can't uh, really differentiate. Eh? Even when I bring the black or the green grape, you can't differentiate. You can only differentiate it when it comes to the, the fruitings uh, time. For the commercial purposes, that one I don't need to talk much because you know how grape, uh, the sector. Uh, that is a sector that needs much and it needs more. So with the the marketing, our uh, uh, marketing, we call it of the market, uh, uh, whatever the chains are long. The chains are nowadays the chains are long. The chains are uh, marketable. Then the chains nowadays are uh, grape farming. It's not embraced in uh, so many regions, but I'll I just let's embrace agriculture. Let's embrace agriculture. Let's embrace agriculture. Let's do farming. It's the backbone of our economy. It's the backbone of now the young generation uh, you can conduct us as i just wind up uh, you can co conduct us uh, through our contact uh, uh, number that is zero seven two zero seven one two uh, seven uh, zero uh you'll come again zero seven uh, one two zero seven five nine one five i repeat again zero seven one two zero seven five nine one five or you can also conduct us through zero seven five eight three zero seven seven uh three seven two or you can visit us at our farm uh, we are located along Na uh, nairobi embu highway uh, near kwasamaki and come all let's learn let's embrace agriculture let's embrace the backbone we want to go back to where agriculture was the backbone of our economy Thank you.